Our first stop is in North Central North Carolina, where the Virginia Line is just a few miles up the road. The Buchanan Store of Warren County was started in 1878 by the Hawthorne family, local farmers. Cookie Curran, a descendant of the Hawthorns, still owns it today. This is my heritage. This is a legacy for my children. But uh, my blood runs in this farm and in this store. My favorite memory is just coming with my mama and daddy. I mean, that was like a real treat. Uh, my mother was born over there in that house, and she, this is where she was born. My dad is from Virginia. And um, just to, uh, I always felt safe, I always felt at home. Uh, it was a, a, just a wonderful childhood memory just to be able to come over here. A building still looks pretty much like it did several decades ago. These are the original doors and the original floors and the original counters because my granddaddy would sit behind the counter. Just like a hundred years ago, the store still sells a little bit of everything. Hunting and fishing supplies, groceries, soft drinks, even nuts and bolts. Wilson Fleming is the current operator. We get calls, we have two campgrounds close by. And from uh, Memorial Weekend through Labor Day weekend is our busiest time. But uh, we get, get calls for just about everything. And we've, we don't have it, we tell them we got it on order anyway. <laughs> the store is near Carr Lake, an area seeing a lot of development and pressure on local landowners to sell. Curran has no interest in seeing her family's heritage disappear. There are more things to life than money, and um, I'm sure that this could be developed and it could be sold at a grand price, but uh, as long as my children and my grandchildren have clothes to wear and food to eat and um, it, it'll probably stay the same. We're going to head west to the North Carolina mountains where we find our next picture from the past. The Todd General Store, built back in 1914. The current owners are Bob and Virginia Mann. We have been at the Todd General Store for about four and a half years. Um, we had been retired and we came up here and we're looking for a home. We pretty much did the whole mountain range and we came upon Todd. The mountain ambiance and the real local people are really fabulous. And we bought the store. We have done quite a bit of renovation to the store. It was in dire need. We pretty much are a destination in the Northwest North Carolina mountains. Uh, people come here on purpose. We have storytelling on Tuesday evenings. We have bluegrass bands in here every Friday night, May through December. We have local authors and artists generally on Saturday afternoons. We have just made a lot of really close, good friends out of the people that we have met. Of course, we are season specific. I try to always have something for the seasons. Todd General Store is close to being the oldest continually operating general store in Western North Carolina. Up until the Depression, the tiny Ash County community of Todd was a booming lumber town. It was the last stop on the Virginia Creeper Railroad, and many of the railroad workers lived nearby. The railroad, of course, brought prosperity to Todd. And when the railroad left in 1933, April, uh, Todd sort of went with it. It was in the middle of the Depression, and uh, it, it was rough times. But the general store continued on through the decades. Today, it is more of an antique shop and gathering place sought out by the history buffs and the curious alike. We've uh, done a lot of things to it and brought it back to life and we're, we're real pleased with what's happened. That we're a very unique country store. Um, what we have done is we've tried to keep the traditions of the Appalachian Mountains going. Everybody has a story or they want to relay a story and I think that's one of the reasons why we get some laughter out of it because, you know, naturally people are pretty funny. And uh, I get an opportunity be, because I work the front of the building um, and greet and meet and you get some real characters in here. There's no doubt you might find whatever it is that's in these stores somewhere else in the busy cities, but getting off the beaten path and dropping by for a look-see can make for a very pleasant visit. You might even want to sit a spell on the porch and just chit-chat.